Okay, so welcome back. Now, we're going to introduce theorem number three. Now, this, it, it's, it, it's interesting to point out, or it's actually good to point out something. Again, this is something you should know from algebra, is that um, when we're dealing with reciprocal functions, or reciprocal squared functions, or two basic functions, remember, so our reciprocal function, right, 1 over x, behaves like this. Okay? And then our reciprocal squared function behaves like this. But it's also interesting to point out that this also behavior happens for higher powers of the reciprocal function. For example, 1 over x cubed will look similar to this, whereas 1 over x to the fourth will look similar to this one. And so what we find is that we have odd powers versus even powers. And so that's where this theorem comes from. So what we can say is, what this theorem says is that if we have reciprocal functions of different powers, and so if n is positive and even, then this limit here will tend to go to positive infinity. Why? Because it looks like this, and of course it's going to head to the same, um, it's heading the same direction. Okay? Whereas with odd, positive and odd, um, when n, n is positive and odd, that means they're going in opposite directions, and so then you have the right and left hand um, limits. So the limit from the right will go to positive infinity, the limit from the left will go to negative infinity, of course. There's no reason to talk about the limit as x approaches a because they don't go to the same, uh, they're not even going in the same direction. Okay? And that's it. That's that theorem. Okay. Have a great day.